Hello BBC Earth, my name is Connell. Welcome to Rocky Point Bird Observatory on Vancouver Island, Canada. Today we are going to be getting an up-close look at one of nature's greatest events, migration. Siobhan, who works at Rocky Point Bird Observatory, and I wanted to know, Siobhan, why is bird banding so important? We need to ban birds in order to track bird migration. Every time we recapture bird, we get information about where they're going or where they've been. So it helps solve the mystery of migration. That's right. These are the bands that are put around the bird's legs. We have the larger ones here, which you would put around an owl or a hawk. These are pretty average sized ones. This one would be around warblers or sparrows. And then we have the hummingbird ones. Look how little that is! On a net check, where I'm just walking around to check the nets to see if there's any birds in them. The nets are kind of like a baggy badminton net, but upper height. And they're designed to hold the birds nice and safely. And the whole banding process takes no longer than about five minutes. And they're off on their way. The reason that we're getting so many birds that migrate past us here on Vancouver Island is that we're on something called the Pacific Flyway, which is basically like a highway for migratory birds. It takes them from northern Canada and Alaska all the way to Central and South America where they will spend their winter. Banding is providing us with some really crucial data. As well as being able to track the migratory routes of species, we're also able to look at things like population sizes and health. This is vital, as the majority of the species that we've seen today are on the decline. I want to say a huge thank you to BBC Earth and to Rocky Point Bird Observatory for having me today. It has been amazing to see conservation in action, and the wildlife has been truly incredible. Thanks to you for sharing it with me, and I really hope you enjoyed it, and I hope to see you again soon.